So, so being, uh, being the silent partner uh, in 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 the in the Jimmy and sorry in the LA and Babyface production, did you feel any of the pressure? So when Clive says, "Okay, we don't want Whitney Houston to to be uh, to be black," you know, musically, you know, here's mm -hmm. I'm your baby tonight. Work on that stuff. Did is there? They, they may feel the pressure because their names are on it, but do you then feel? Mm -hmm. How did you? What, how does that? No, I, never, I never felt. I never felt pressure. I felt like I was a. I was a supporting member. I'm going to support whatever the project is that they have. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If they got hired for the project because they were the producers, I was just a songwriter. So I just was supportive, being a songwriter. So maybe they had pressure. You know what I mean? But I never felt the pressure. I felt like, okay, I got to go in here and I got to help them. You know, I got to help support them to come up with something. Like when Michael Jackson called, it was like, hey, Michael Jackson called. He wants us to come to L.A. for two weeks. He said, we're going to take you with us. We've got to come up with something for blah, blah, blah. That probably felt like pressure because it was Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, I couldn't even believe I was going anyway. And so we, 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 you know, we went there and we were working on song after song. And I forget how many songs we had written. And Michael liked one song out of all the songs that we had written in, you know, say 10 days or so. And I, I did feel a pressure because it was like Teddy Riley was working on the album. Oh, okay. And I don't think Rodney was working at that time. No, but, no. Uh, but that did feel like a little pressure. And then, you know, we came away from it and it wasn't really successful. You know, it didn't really work out, you know. Um, so that's probably the only time I felt pressure because I felt pressure for them. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it was such a big project. And, uh, but other than that, I just tried to be supportive and try to, I had to contribute. I got to come up with something. I can't just sit there and like, let them do it. Mm -hmm. I got to contribute to what they're doing. And, and I always felt like I did in some form or fashion, you know. What did you guys so, learn from that Michael Jackson experience? Um, I don't know. It was just a strange experience. I, I, you know, it was like, I went into it thinking, this is going to be one of the greatest moments of my life. And it was as far as meeting Michael and being in the studio. But the outcome, because he didn't use the song, was like failure to me. Mm. So that was really, I was really disappointed because people were like, oh, I thought you worked with Michael Jackson. The album came out and our song wasn't on it. And ironically, years later, I have something. There's something over there. You can't yeah. see it. But <laughs> post postmostly, he did an album. Yeah. On Sony, they put out songs that he had recorded but didn't use. So they ended up using our song. And uh, so I, uh, I ended up, you know, you know, the song was on on an album, but it wasn't still like what I had hoped it would be. Yeah. But I was but, wondering uh, if, if, if that disappointment is, if did you, did it put fire inside of you guys? Um, um, the disappointment of, of, of that, of that outcome. Because I don't know. No, soon I don't after so. that, we, already, we yeah. always had fire. We always had stuff going. I think we left. Actually, we left that session the last day, and we were working with Tony Braxton on Tony's first album. So we were excited about the songs we had for Tony. We had "Breathe Again," another sad love song. You mean the world to me? We just said, okay, it didn't work out, you know, and we quickly changed gears. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to focus on our artist, on Tony, and we went right to work. Literally, we went from Larrabee North right to where we were working on Sunset. I can't remember the name of the studio. And, and Tony was there and we worked on her first album and kept going, you know? So it was just something that it just kind of didn't work out, yeah. <laughs> you know, at the time. But we, we, we had so many projects and so much work. We didn't have time to sit around and think about it. It was like, okay, what do we got next? Yeah. Oh, Tony's, Tony's around here at Suma. That was the studio, Suma, on Sunset. And we went in there and started working on, like I said, Breathe Again, another sad love song. And just kept rolling and didn't think about it, you know. So that's kind of how it worked out. Hey, everyone. I want to thank you for being part of Halftime Chats. Um, this new update is really about our membership, and I'm really excited to be able to fully launch the membership page. There will be things like full interviews from day one. As soon as the interview drops, you get access to it without any ads on it. Um, there'll be some exclusive member only videos that will just be some behind the scenes stuff and some other things that we will never be broadcast. 
Um, for some members, you can be able to get actually two interviews because we do have I do have a backlog of almost two or th- seven or eight interviews that I don't even know when I'm going to be able to broadcast them. So you're able to get at least some of those up front and um, and some some ex- some just behind the scenes stuff because there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that I have never been able to 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 talk about or release. Um, for anyone else, you know what the videos would still be the same um over f- over a week or a week and a half or two weeks depending on how long it is um so everything stays the same the polls stay the same the community chats the community stuff stays the same but i think with the membership stuff i'm able to add a little bit more and invest a lot more time and energy in in in, in really supporting the members so i do hope you come on that ride with me i appreciate the support and um, this will just help me continue to invest in taking things to the next level. Take care.